This is your girl Mandy B, and this is my sex playlist. Number 10, the dream falsetto. In a falsetto. This is the song to get you moaning, baby. Ooh, baby, ah. Uh. See, I don't go as high, but baby, the moans come, and again, if you do not like a quiet bedroom, put this song on, and it'll get you and your partner, ooh, uh, moaning, baby. Listen, just know I have made a few men scream in my day. Scream, moan, and grunts. I had one guy that did, like, animal noises one time, and it was like, ooh. And I was like, oh my God, what animal is in the room? But listen, I love a man that makes noises in the bed. So at the end of the day, just give me something to hear besides myself. But yeah, definitely have made a few men moan and scream and hit the high note a couple times. <laughs> Number nine, Trey Song's Jupiter Love. I think it's time we take a trip to the but Listen, first off, Earth is ghetto. Okay, so if you're not having orgasms on Earth, listen to this song and you're gonna get Jupiter orgasms, okay? Orgasms from another world and that's where this song takes you from the couch to the bedroom, baby. And he literally tells you that in the song. What you're gonna hear throughout the song that I think it's time we take a trip to the bed. Girl, your body's talking and I'm loving what she said. Ladies, y'all know when it starts to get a little hot down there, they know, they know. So that's what he's saying. He's saying the body was talking to him and he knew what was going on. Girl, don't be afraid to let me elevate you. I want to welcome you to super duper Jupiter love. When you say super duper, baby, because <laughs> who says that? Nobody. But when it's Jupiter love, <laughs> that's what we get, okay? Number eight, Chris Brown. Take you down. Take you down. It is not a sex playlist without Take You Down by Chris Brown. And listen, when I'm going to the bed, when I'm with my partner, partners, he, she, it don't matter. I need to be taken down. And this is the song that literally gets me taken down. I would be lying to you if I told you I knew instruments, but whatever instruments are being used in this song, it just makes everything tingle in a good way, if you know what I mean. Take you down, I really wanna. It just... Oh, everything about this entire song makes me want to be taken down. This song came out in 2007. I graduated high school in 2009. Don't let me tell y'all I was being taken down in high school. God damn it. Let's just say I started listening to this in my older years, early 20s, you know, when it was acceptable to have sex. This takes me back to actually too many partners to really remember. Again, this is one of those, if I have a playlist for my partners, this song is on there. So literally, probably everyone I've had sex, this brings back memories too. <laughs> Number seven, Usher, can you handle it? If I go there, baby, with This you. song right here, I love because you get the back and forth. You get the woman saying, I can handle it. I can go there, baby, with you. You have the dialogue where he's telling you, what's up? And I'm responding, yes, I'm going there with you, and I can handle it all. When a man says, can you handle it? Oh, baby, girl, you better go and do your stretches, your lunges, because that oftentimes means you're going to be hurt the next day okay you just know it's long and strong baby it gives me almost excited because I feel like oh oh I gotta get ready yes I can handle it and that's kind of what Usher gives me in this song <laughs> Has there ever been a time that I couldn't handle it? Now, this one didn't even ask me if I could handle it. He just kind of pulled it out, and I said, oh, no. What am I doing with that? No, sir. No, sir. It's, that's not messing me up. I do not ride. So the fact that he wanted me to sit on it, I said, oh, no, baby. No, baby. What is we doing here? <laughs> Let's just go back to watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. Number six, Miguel is my lie to me lie to me lie to me so sweet here's the thing you're gonna have sex to this song with someone you're in a situation ship okay because we lie and tell someone the pussy is theirs and it's also his and theirs over there and his too Liar. and what he does is say we both know i'm not the only one so it's just like all right you know this is other people's but tonight it's yours and it literally just puts you in that situationship I'm here for the type of vibes the pussy in this sense is like Airbnb so you're coming inside but it's temporary you don't really live here and you're enjoying it because you get to do all the messy things because you know you don't really have to clean up because the cleaner comes later that is what your pussy is when you're listening to pussy is mine you're the Airbnb and he's in you for maybe the night maybe the weekend but no longer than a week and he's gone <laughs>
Number five, Tiana Taylor, Do Not Disturb, featuring Chris Brown. I want you right now, not another minute later. So the back and forth between Tiana Taylor and Chris Brown on this record really gets you into thinking who's really in control here. The best thing about being in the bedroom, ladies, is being the f***ing director. If you don't know what he's doing or he ain't doing it right, tell him. And Tiana Taylor literally says, my legs are in the air. Pull my hair, slap me, nigga, get rough with it. And that's how the fuck you do it, ladies. I love hotel sex. The worst thing about hotel sex is starting to get in, getting the mood going, and then goddamn room service. And it's like, we're both naked. Now we gotta, okay, are we gonna put on a goddamn towel? Where's the robe? Where's my drawers? Do I let them see me naked? Disturbing? in the middle for them to roll the little card in. Probably the worst thing about hotel sex, for sure. Do not disturb. Number four, Sabrina Claudio, Belong to You, featuring Black. You can't have a sex playlist without one of these whispery singing. Do you not like when a man whispers and breathes heavy in your ear? That's what this song gives. It makes you, again, just want to glide so whether you're only sitting on the couch or if you're in bed it makes you want to just glide your hands or your body over his and you take the lead but what she is saying i belong to you yes you belong to him at this very moment simulate me come, come on Come on! There are a lot of places that you can be simulated. Like, have you ever came from a man just blowing in your ear? Oh, my God, the best thing in the world. If you haven't, try it tonight. Try it tonight. Number three, Road James Permission. With your permission. Because has there ever been a sexier song to consent than this one? <laughs> now, consent is not really a sexy thing. Hey. Can I touch you? May I do this? Is it okay if I? We never think consent is sexy until mother you asking for permission. And Ro hits every, every vocal note that needs to be hit in order to make consent sexy. You need permission, fellas. Ladies, you too. So again, if you don't know how to make it sexy, permission, Ro James, probably one of my favorite songs, hand down. So the sexiest way a man can ask permission, can I please you? I think that that's one of the, the sexiest ways, only because when we think of sex, we oftentimes think of the man's pleasure. So if a man comes and offers you pleasure, that's definitely one of the sexiest ways. And also, ask along the way. May I touch? Can I go lower? Do you like that? I think continuously asking a woman if she likes something is also a sexy way to ensure that A, you're doing something right, and B, that she is enjoying and you are giving her pleasure. Number two, Shelly, formerly known as Drum Exposure. Let me love you over and over again. This song came out, I had it on repeat. It was so good, I sent it to my boyfriend. I literally was like, this is it. This is it. It literally says, let me love you inside out and outside in. Let me touch your soul before I touch your skin. What? You want to get me from the inside out? That's what you want? Oh, come on. How can you not like this song? So if a man ever tells you these things, honey, you're going to melt. I wanted to see what lies underneath because beauty to me is more than skin deep. All right. That's it, draws her off, I'm in love. I am getting on my knee to propose to you. Number one, Daniel Caesar, Get You, featuring Kali Uchi. Now listen, I know we were supposed to cancel this man. Yo, I'm making music right now, I'll put it out. You guys don't have to listen to it. Cancel me, make me broke. But this song right here, it comes on on my Alexa. I don't know how it starts. Maybe my Alexa just knows when I'm having sex because this is almost always the first song that plays. And it literally just gets me to saying, ooh, again. Who would have thought I'd get you? Do you ever lay with someone and you're like, dang. Not only are you sexy, not only are you fine, you please me in every way. And literally when this song plays, I be just thinking about how lucky I am to really be experiencing what the f I'm experiencing. It's almost like I say it. He says it first and I be like, how did I get you? Ow.
It's amazing. <laughs> did you get an orgasm? Because I did. I'm your girl Mandy B and that was my sex playlist. If you want to hear more sex from your girl, make sure you catch me every Monday on Horrible Decisions Podcast. And if you want to talk a little bit more relationships and dating, check me on See The Thing Is Podcast. Again, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. This has been an amazing orgasmic journey. Thank you guys for tuning in.